Hello everyone, welcome to the first round of Byte Battle. I'm uh, PS, I'm going to help commentate. I have with me Aldroid, which will also be helping out. Hello! And uh, yeah, it's going to be quite fun. I'm lo very much looking forward for this. Byte Battle was the uh, first time that happened was on uh, last year's Love Byte. Uh, we also had it at uh, Love Byte Battlegrounds. And it's pretty much like a shader showdown, but with the tick 80. Plus, you have to be below 500 and, uh, uh, 256 bytes. So that also causes some additional tension. So, uh, Aldroid, are you looking forward to, to this matchup that's coming up? Yeah, really excited. I think, as you say, it's been a year of fight battling and in that time a lot has changed and we have moved in so many different directions that we weren't expecting. Um, it's going to be really exciting today as Love Bite is the home of the bite battle. Yeah, 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 for sure. We also have the a key word that people are may or may not use, but uh, voting tendencies has proven that you better use it. Otherwise, you, you, you're probably not going to make it to the next uh, round. So let's see. And uh, these words were randomly selected by all the participants. There was like a pool. You saw the spinning thing. Uh, Avok showed you what the, what the keyword was already. Uh, so uh, you already know what it is. We still don't know what it is because we're still commenting blind, but we will know sometime soon. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the countdown to start. We have first round will be VC versus Lin. We already have the countdown on screen. Nine, eight, seven, seven six, five, six, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Um, and we're off. So the keyword apparently is dumpling. What the hell would you do with a dumpling, Aldroid? Um, I have no idea. I would probably try <laughs> to start with a pun or, um, well, they're kind of round, aren't they? Maybe just circles? Um, I, I guess they do. We are using the version of Tick80 that does ellipses, so you could technically also. And yeah, you see VC immediately just using starting with an alley to to do the ellipse. So uh, he's definitely going for that. Um, Lynn with the trans rights uh, keyword right there, just a shout out. She that helped trans her right, win. Yeah. <laughs> that helped her win <laughs> the modulation. So that that's probably a good thing. Let's see how how it works out for her this time. Um, Anything else we can talk about dumpling? How the hell would you code a dumpling? I mean, what even is a dumpling technically? It's like uh, some piece of uh, very thin pasta that gets boiled with some vegetable stuff inside. Yeah, it goes in a pot, so you could maybe draw a pot. Ah, that would be an interesting idea. Just put a pot in it. That would that would do it. It's only like a couple of rectangles. That would better probably work out. Um, we should talk a little bit about our two competitors that we have, VC versus Lin. Uh, VC is the most veteran. He participated on a lot of stuff before. Uh, he also does uh, shader coding, so he participated on a few shader showdowns throughout the years. His first participation was in 2016, so participated at Assembly, Outline, uh, Revision, and uh, oh. a few of the events that I also organized, uh, the Shader Royales and, and similar stuff. And I'm trying to see terms stuff of, on screen here. Yeah, they're still they're they're starting to to put something up. It's they are green, so not not that very eatable. <laughs> Just testing colors. Uh, he also participated at Love Bite Battlegrounds, um, which which uh, was already on the Tick 80, so he does have some experience with the setup. Uh, as for Lynn, uh, she mostly does DJ sets at these kind of events, but she got more into Lua coding last year, and she eventually started participating in some. Oh, we already had some Alcatraz bars there. I saw those. There we go. Already something on screen. It's not very dumpling-like, but you know. Well, it doesn't have might... to be necessarily, does it? Yeah, it's up to the people who vote if they if they feel that the effect stands on its own besides the keywords. I mean, if both of them don't use the keywords, uh, it's all about the code. If one of them actually makes an effort to do the the um, to match the keyword somehow. I think Ooh, he might, they might have it's Kefren's not until it's I not out. It's a Kefren's bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to stir some controversy on the chat right now. 
Because <laughs> I know for a fact that they are Alcatraz bars and not Catherine's bars. <laughs> How the fuck do you add dumplings? Help! <laughs> it could be you're Catherine's own, dumplings. <laughs> If you were a Catherine's dumpling, how what would you look like? That's the real <laughs> question. A VZ is already starting to make something that sort of looks like a like a dumpling, or like yeah, I an think egg. that looks like a dumpling. It's uh, it's got a sort of three D shape now. Yeah, with some with a creative with the power of your imagination, that could be some dumplings. Last year, I remember we had a dragon made out of three triangles, so I'm pretty sure you can make a dumpling out of a few circles. Um, what else were we talking about? Oh yeah, Lin. Uh, Lin started doing some uh, Lua shader code, uh, Lua bite-sized coding. I think last year's Love Bite, and then she participated at Battlegrounds as well. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. And then she ended up participating at Demodulation, which was just a pie jam, which you were an organizer, Aldroid. So you can tell us yeah, that's a right. little bit uh, more about that one. That was really good to see. So we were invited to do a stream for. Um, Demodulation, which is a Russian party, and we, you know, we brought a, a group of four folk together to sit up and do a bite jam. And uh, yeah, Lynn's absolutely stole the show with a beautiful trans rights flag. And um, yeah, it was really good to see so much support from the crew over there. The power of flags in in uh, Lua size <laughs> coding. Oh, an error there for VC. An expected near, expected, uh, what's, what's that? That's not a curly brace, that's a, a parenthesis? Expected parenthesis, they're line something. Yeah, okay. when you're size coding like this, it's really hard to keep track of all of the braces you've opened and closed. Yeah. Oh, uh, we should explain the rules a bit more. So they start with 25 minutes to code whatever you see on screen. And you'll see a countdown on the bottom right of each screen, which is the number of bytes they are currently using. They start in the green because they start with 512. And as the, the time ticks uh, closer to the end, the maximum will be uh, 256 uh, bytes. So you're, you need to focus to make sure that your effect will fit 256 bytes. If it doesn't, you are disqualified immediately and the other person wins. So uh, be very careful. You can, uh, some people just like to code the entire effect and then optimize a few things away to fit the size. Others try to keep the size uh, in, in, in check at all times, but it's really hard to keep it in check because uh, it's, it's, um, it's pretty much always green. And when it's yellow, it's already too late because it's it's decreasing through time. If it was always 256, that would be a bit better to keep track of, in my humble opinion. But uh, this is this is how they made it. I think the keywords have made it uh, a lot tougher in that regard because certainly the first few fight battles we saw, people were constantly preparing as an effect to show. And so everybody had a sense of how they were going to get it down below that limit by the end. Whereas mm -hmm. now we have to freestyle and you you can start something like this not knowing whether you're going to make it or not, which is a lot more exciting and uh, nerve wracking, I think, if you're competing. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, VC is definitely... very exciting though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely going for the dumplings thing. Lynn, I don't think Lynn has any idea how to put some <laughs> dumplings on these Kefren's bars or Alcatraz bars. So uh, it's going to be a hard one to vote. Uh, as we said, it's up to you, the, the people who vote. And if you don't, if you don't know how to vote, you need to ask an organizer for a vote key, and you need to go to uh, to the party.lovebite.net I think is the website. Someone please write it on the chat as I'm saying because I probably got it wrong. And uh, you can vote there. Uh, choose your favorite uh, live coder. Vote for the end result not the ongoing but you can alter your vote as you go uh, as you go seeing the performance. Actually last year or was it at Battlegrounds? Super Oak even did like a chart showing the how the votes fluctuated through time so it would be cool if you would be updating your vote throughout the the match and not just at the end 
sometimes you can really see the moment where somebody drops a new a new effect and mm -hmm. the voting just changes 15 minutes in yeah it completely changes the direction of the vote okay so 16 minutes and a half still left still plenty of time um but both of them are edging the limit of characters that you can do uh, there are a few tricks in size coding that you can apply here like using the same variable for uh, recurring functions you can see lin did that with math.sin and math.cos um, regarding math.sin and math.cos there's a special trick you can also use to only use one of them if you add like a period change to one of them usually plus 11 does the trick don't ask me why someone in the chat will probably explain the logic behind that um, i'm not even sure if if uh, math sin and math cause take radians or 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 degrees it is radians yeah so it i is think radians. 11 is just kind of close to half pi if you're um hmm. doing it modulo it. pi yeah i guess that's it it's not like a perfect sign cause um exchange but half the time yeah. nobody's going to notice are they yeah no 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 one will know the difference <laughs> Uh, another function that you have available is the time function. You can see it being used here a few times, and usually they index it to uh, the variable t and then use it away. Uh, in this case, it's being divided by 32 and divided twice. You see there on, on a lens screen. Uh, dividing twice does like a math floor on it, so you only take like the integer version. Uh, out of it and that's useful if you want to do some shifting with the t later on like uh or if you want to saw it or something like that you'll need to make sure that it's an integer so that's why usually we had uh two divisions uh, instead of just a single one it's uh, just a slightly different operator for a dividing function vc has some motion on his boiling dumplings looking good it's definitely a dumpling vibe going on there i mm -hmm. think um lens is very beautiful and it's it's got some kind of of swirling ring which might become a dumpling maybe <laughs> let's hope so for her sake <laughs> uh, so what's your favorite right now aldroid if it would end now at 14 minutes who would you be voting for honestly i think Linz is the more beautiful and there's a lot more going on just visually but I think part of that is because she hasn't con constrained herself to drawing dumplings quite so <laughs> ded dedicatedly as Vizzy has. Yeah, and she has done those uh, Catherine's Alcatraz bars before so she knows how to implement them. that's why <laughs> it was the first thing she did. Um, but let's see how it evolves. She still has 13. Oh, late hour right now, 13.37. She still has uh, 13, uh, 13 minutes and 30 seconds to put some dumpling vibe on her code. Let's see how how she uh, does that. This is already sort of optimizing with these very long lines. That's quite a long time to have to work in optimized code mode. Another, yeah. 13, another 13 minutes of editing a single line of code is quite frustrating if you're not used to it. Yeah. Uh, there's a special trick that you can use, which is to use the load function on Lua, and you can save like two bytes using that. But the uh, downside is that you have to have everything on a single line, and you don't even have like syntax highlighting once you do that. So usually that's like the desperate man move at the last possible moment just to get those two extra bytes because the code becomes quite uneditable once you're on that mode. I think I just saw something that, wow. Oh, what was that? <laughs> there was a, a brief and incredibly kaleidoscopic vision, I think, on the screen there. It looked like a James Bond white, movie. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a big dumpling, but it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's become a psychedelic James Bond. Oh, okay. Maybe James Bond is going out for some dumplings? <laughs> <laughs> dumplings, Miss Money Penning. <laughs> uh, nice one. 
VCs is looking very trippy as well now, I think. Hmm. VC is known for doing some experimental stuff, so this feels very like down to earth for what VC usually does, with the free reign without the constraints, the heavy constraints of having a themed word. He usually goes for a lot more trippier stuff. I'm beginning to feel hypnotized by this this spiral of colors. Maybe mm-hmm. that's Lynn's plan. Yeah, the it ties the voters open. into not noticing <laughs> that there are no dumplings. The dumplings are in your mind. <laughs> All glory to the hypno dumpling. <laughs> in the shader showdown, you'd really be cramming at this point to get your effect out, but because the, the tick 80 is so flexible and lets you express yourself so quickly, you can mm-hmm. sometimes get to this point and be wondering, what am I going to do? I filled up 256 bytes yeah. and there's 10 minutes left. Usually when I reach this point is when tick 80 crashes because I made it do an iteration with 9 to the exponential of 9 <laughs> and then I have to start all over again. This was, this is a true story that happened to me on the last time I participated on a, on a bite battle. I so I never I had that. I never had that luxury of <laughs> having ten minutes without <laughs> knowing what to do. Uh, but yeah, Aldra, did you you participated on some bite jams, but you never did any bite battles, did you? I did. I did one at. Oh, this is really bad. I've, I've forgotten which, where it was, but uh, it might have been battle bite or or maybe outline. It was outline. That's right. Um, but I ended up organizing bike jams. Wait, and, we and battled each it. other. What are we talking about? Yeah, Did I battle against <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh my god, my memory is worse than yours. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 start you you start you kind of start forgetting who your opponent was because you don't see them face to face. You only see your code. You only see the ending afterwards. What your opponent did. So, uh, so it all becomes a blur. But I it was fun. Know it's a lot of pressure um, actually doing this in in real time. That first moment where you start and you think, "I've got to type something now," is uh, yeah. It, it, the pressure is real. Yeah, and then you start noticing, "Oh shit! I should have paid attention to math class <laughs> twenty <laughs> years ago." <laughs> I don't know how to how to do a simple simple math transformation. Everything you knew, you just forget immediately. The clock starts. I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you were saying about the shader showdown. In the shader showdown, people usually spend the first five ten minutes doing the the ray marching loop because you usually want to do some three D stuff. Uh, which here you can do some ray marching. We had some people do that. Shout outs to Super Rogue and uh, the Doom hash word and shout outs to Tomcat with whatever keyword he just does the the ray marching anyways and uh, so it is possible uh, doesn't take as long because it's quite shorter to to implement I guess it's kind of the same time it's not that shorter but uh, but yeah I'm really starting to enjoy the motion in VC's dumplings there there's a really nice blend of, of sign functions causing them to bounce around in a pleasing way. Kind of felt more like popcorns than uh, than dumplings at, at some point. <laughs> Let's see how it evolves. Hop, 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 hop. Psychedelic you see it dumplings. Phasing into waves and then out of phase again. It's... Yeah. <laughs> In a, in a yellow pot. Lynn has now gone over and it is only seven minutes and a bit to go. So uh, I hope she can size code that down in the next little while because time is becoming to be- beginning to become of the essence. Mm-hmm. She does have a dumpling on the screen now. Uh, at least the word, so that's, that must count for something. <laughs> <laughs> Those, yeah, that's probably what's it. That's got to be thirty something bytes, maybe. Um, 
It's a big mm-hmm. commitment to the dumpling. Yeah. But can she get it size coded down? Is the question. The frame rate seems to have deteriorated a little bit on her effect. She's still tweaking some stuff. Okay, back to proper frame rate. Okay, so six minutes left on the clock. Aldroid, what would you add to these two effects? They seem pretty much done to me. What would you? What could you possibly add? I, not very much in that space. I think. I think if you could find a few more bites, it would be nice to see, maybe, you know, a different palette or because I think they're both using default palette, right? You can do mm-hmm. some quite nice tricks just by shifting one of the um, the colors in the palette. Um, well, one of the channels, I mean, um, mm-hmm. give it a little bit more con- color consistency. Uh, they're both using a very uh, Dutch color scheme, is that what it's called? Yeah, all <laughs> the colors in the world, or all the colors in TK80 in this case, in <laughs> Sweetie 16. <laughs> But what about yourself? I think um, it's it's quite a challenge to, to think of something dumplingy in that space. Yeah, I, I think I would try to fix the pot on Vissies, like make it more organic looking somehow. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I don't have pots that are just uh, orange. Uh, so uh, maybe some some small function to do some you know noise on it or rounded corners, something like that. That's the only idea I can think of. Lynn, I I have no clue because there's there's still not much dumpling there. But I really have no idea what I would do if I would get this keyword anyway. So big ups for both VC and Lin to even coming up with anything that somehow vaguely, remotely, subjectively reminds you of a dumpling. Lin's size coding has now got to the level of removing vowels from the word dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and she's still missing points, four though. bytes. <laughs> I think she could get those bytes if, sh- if she would use the phase shift trick that you were talking about for Sin and Kos. Uh, but mm. she might not know it, know about it. Uh, this is well within uh, the byte range. Oh, she's within oh, the byte wait. range now. Ooh. Oh, and now she's off. And now she's in. <laughs> Just toying with us now. Yeah, it's working. Don't touch it. Works. Ship it. <laughs> Four minutes left. What about people in the chat? What would you add? What would you do with a dumpling? What would you do have coded? I want to know your uh, your ideas, your thoughts, your imagination. So maybe we can have a, a dumpling music disc like we did for for the duck theme on Battlegrounds. <laughs> Oh, multicolor now. So is it like a bento box on VC now instead of a instead of a? I like that. It's a very Dutch bento box, but uh, I like the multicolors. I'm I'm a sucker for the Dutch color scheme. I'm afraid, just happy bright colors <laughs> and some nice effects, and I'm there. But it sort of seems like to cut into the dumplings. So I'm not sure if he's like going to do like the place where you like roll the dumplings before you put them to boil. I don't know. Or maybe it's like they're being fried and they're they're being tossed oh. on a big pan or I don't mm. know. Can it become a coherent shape in maybe maybe he's addressing the issue of the pan not being the right texture mm-hmm. or shape? It looks great. It looks great, but I feel like it is moving into the realms of abstract art rather yeah. than dumpling pots. Mm-hmm. Let's see what he's what he's cooking. Ha! Uh, still two minutes and 20 seconds left, so uh, not that much time, but you can still do something. Um, I'm getting a bit worried for VC here. Lin has quite definitely like called it there and I think it could be a wise move to do that quite often you can start something in three minutes and then you get to you know suddenly there's no minutes and you're oversized so 
It's Better conservative, play. but yeah. it might be the right move. Better play safe than risk losing it all. One minute and a half left to go. Well, 35 seconds now. I think BC has gone back to the, the rather plain and orange rectangular part. Mm -hmm. I think that was a wise move. Uh, whatever he was trying wasn't really working out that much. It was interesting, though, but uh, less realistic. It was fun to be on the journey. But mm -hmm. I think I think now it has it has reached a state of artistic coherence. <laughs> right. Dumpling coherence. <laughs> we are voting for most coherent dumpling here. There's a minute left, yeah. and uh... I I have no idea how, how I will vote on this. Uh, I hope you people do because we have 40 seconds left, and you will need to vote. And your vote does matter, so do grab yourself a vote key. Go to the website, update your votes, and one of these two. Uh, people will go on to the semi-finals of uh, Love Bite Bite Battle. Twenty seconds left. I think they've both settled in, don't you? Yeah. Is it going to be about like the dumplings or about the the classic Kefren's effect or Alcatraz? Mm -hmm. Two, one, zero, and they're Yay. done. Everybody, please give them a huge round of applause. Well done. Good effort. 25 minutes coding these two great looking effects. Uh, don't forget to vote. And uh, any last words, Aldroid, before we let people uh, watch the effects without the distraction of our, of our ludicrous commentary? Nope, this has been a really nice, um, fresh start to another year of bite battles so uh yeah i hope everybody's enjoyed this session and uh, remember to vote yep don't forget to vote okay everybody see you in a few minutes for the next round bye